Hello, everybody, and we are live. Welcome to A Tale of D20s Presents Magpie's Madness. And we are playing Passions de los Pasiones um, today. And we have a wonderful guest GM and players with me. And uh, <laughs> one of them just popped right off, but I'm sure Hannah will be right back <laughs> in just a moment. Um, but I am Zendarik, uh, one of the MCs today that will be running the show. And uh, I'm happy here to, uh, well, I will pass it over to Zach in just a moment. I have to remember to announce today we are giving away, or you can enter today in the Mad Pie Madness as one word in our Twitch chat to get entered into uh, Win Wizard Kitten. So you'll see here that on our plaque today um, below, uh, we are actually sponsored by Magpie and we are, uh, we'll be announcing the winners at the end of this week. Uh, everybody has a chance to enter once per stream um, for a chance to win, so please do that. Um, so with that, we are uh, going to dive into our session two of Passions today. Um, but let me pass it over to Zach to introduce himself and the rest of us cast. Hello, everyone. Zach Nelson, he, him. Uh, we are in week two of four of our tale. Uh, thank you for joining us for this 71st episode of La Rosa. We are uh, coming off of a big reveal, but um, before we get to all that, I want to give my awesome players a chance to say hello as well. Uh, playing Alex, we've got... I'm Jeff. Hola. Playing Alex Sterling, a... Uh playboy businessman that diversifies in businesses as well as women um do we want to do our last on or um sure why not uh, why, why, don't, why don't you give us your last time on and the advancement that you took since the last episode sure so the last time on um we had an episode where Gloria and I had a little time uh, blowing some money together. I was very excited about the uh, business deals going through and the uh, possible will money that I had money to blow and I had a girl to impress. Uh, so Gloria and I went shopping and we went back to her place. I was drunk and I don't think we ever made it all the way. And when I woke up, she was gone and my pockets were empty. <laughs> Classic. And uh, I believe that your advancement was to introduce a new NPC. Um, yes. And, or rather to take control of one that has been a little bit of a background character until now, but we're now pulling them into the spotlight more. Yes, what? a couple episodes ago I had a fling with a cop, Candace. Um, it's becoming a little more serious now that I've come into some money. So, <laughs> Or at least... Now, it's certainly going to be interesting because I, if I remember correctly, the conditions for getting that money were to marry um, one of the hotel members. It seems like uh, Candace might be making a play on that on that uh, somehow, but we'll see how that goes for her. Just have to marry. I don't have to stay married. <laughs> Fabulous. Hannah, why don't you tell us uh, about your character? Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm doing, I will be playing Magdalena Lord of Travis, uh, La Vendaza. And last time, um, what you might have missed on the show. What is the show's name, by the way? Is it just like Pasiones de Uh, this is, um, this show is La Rosa. La Rosa. Uh, it's named, named after the hotel. Okay. So the last time on La Rosa, you would see um, Magdalena, uh, after Alma leaves her office, Magdalena comes out from behind a uh, seat, a column, and with the skeleton key, goes inside of uh, the main office of Alma. Um, uh, yeah, the maitre d'. Just a quick glance. Um, you don't see what she finds inside of the office, but you just saw her kind of sneaking around. Interesting. Okay. And, uh, what was your advancement? It was I completed my playbook. So, now I have a move called New Player Burn It Down! 
So when I have no hold for the plan, I can mm -hmm. take plus one to strike out at my target or their allies and take plus one to act with desperation or to flee a bad situation. Do you hear her? Destroy I evidence. Like I don't hear her. Of Hannah, are you here? So. Uh, I can hear her. Yep, okay. she's coming through. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so basically, if I am not able to move forward with, if things are going off script, mm -hmm. I can make a new script on the fly. <laughs> Fabulous. And uh, after after our introductions, we are going to have that first roll be how much hold you have for the plan this session. All right. And uh, then um, our third player, Travis. Hello, I am playing Silvia Gonzalez, the um, matron of this family, La Doña. And she is uh, a widowed recently, uh, grieving sort of, uh, <laughs> in her in her own way, um, and uh, missing missing her beloved as we fight over the inheritance of La Rosa. She, uh, where are my things? So I took I also took an advancement because. Um, I had some shocking news in the wind last time, so um, I was given a boat uh, that my husband, where he confessed his love to me on, um, but I was not given a sizable amount of any money and not the deed to the hotel. So I'm a little shocked in awe, so I took for my uh, ad uh, advancement uh, control of an NPC, and so I have um, in my control the security guard and staff of our uh, hotel establishment, Santino Pinto, and he is now ensuring that the grieving widow is cared for in any way I need. Santino has been known to uh, escort unruly guests off the property when needed, so you you uh, have secured a powerful uh, physical ally, as well as one with the auspices of the law on his side, or at least the security of the hotel. This may be an inter interaction between him and um, and Candace. Yes. Um, and I apologize, I was fiddling with some back-end stuff. Are we doing the last time on now as well, or no? Yes, please. And my last time on is um, tied directly to what happened in the end of episode two. So as I just said, a, a widow scorned. Um, I was able to sneak away and meet with some lawyers, though, and I manipulated my name onto the lease, deed, or contract. So while I was not able to completely secure my rightful authority over all of La Rosa, I was able to maintain control over the conveniently separately deeded hotel pool and bar. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That, I believe that there were plans to expand that into a second part of the franchise. Correct. And uh, you have control over that. I do now. Sh should be interesting. All right, then. Fabulous. So, everyone, we, um, as you notice, we do have one fewer player than we did last week. Um, Gloria has departed under mysterious circumstances, um, and we're going to be playing to find out what happened there. Uh, I know that I'm excited. There's been some talk among my players of how to how to um, turn this to their advantage. Um, unfortunately, she will not be coming back for the future. She was initially only going to be here for two episodes and had to depart a little early. Um, and um, we will then be going um, for two more episodes as well as the one that we have tonight in an attempt to tell a long, cohesive story where there's time for this story to breathe a little bit. Um, everyone's fighting for control of the hotel and, more importantly, the uh, control of the hearts of those that they find dear or that they find interesting. 
So welcome back to the show. And um, I hope that you enjoy your time watching La Rosa. So the... Hold on, mm -hmm. before we jump into that, let me run the opening credits and then we can jump right back into the, <laughs> we'll jump right back into it. And we're back. Great. <laughs> so take it away. Ah, wow. At La Rosa, you never know when you're going to have another mysterious disappearance occur. But don't worry, Hannah will be returning shortly. We're just making sure that we've got um, a stable connection uh, coming through. All right. Uh, welcome back. Um, who knows what nefarious deeds you've gotten off to off screen. Uh, Magdalena. Uh, what? I think that we're going to start with finding out how the plan is going. Uh, so, your feature is the plan, um, and you, at the beginning of each session, decide who you want revenge on and how you're going to punish them. Are you sticking with Sylvia, like you did last time, or have you changed your target to someone else? So, Sylvia... Sylvia took away the thing I wanted last time. She interrupted. Mm -hmm. So for, we didn't give like a real recap. Do we want to do that? Sure. Oh, no. Um, yeah. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we saw our um, our characters gathered for the funeral of Carlos Gonzalez, the owner of La Rosa. Um, during that time, as was mentioned, uh, Sylvia received a sailing boat. Uh, Alex received a promise of a million dollars if he married into the Gonzalez family. And, um, and Gloria received the deed to the hotel itself. Uh, uh, we saw Magdalena at that funeral um, and with uh, making connections and scheming. Um, over the course of the following episode, there were shocking betrayals, including um, uh, Alexander abandoning Gabriela uh, Gonzalez to um, pursue her mother instead, Sylvia. Uh, there was a very uh, almost tender scene, I would say, with the two of them sharing breakfast and um, discussing their plans for the future. Uh, while that was occurring, we also saw Magdalena and Gloria reveal that they, in fact, were working together. Um, the Their true goal seems shrouded in shadow at the moment, but we do know that Magdalena has a plan to get revenge for the fact that she was framed for the murder of her mother years ago at this very hotel. Her mother was the architect of this place, and that um, secondary sp site on the hotel was designed by Magdalena's mother. Uh, yeah, I think I think that because right before the end, I was about to get information mm -hmm. from Alex and. Sylvia interrupted that. So I think Sylvia is still my target. All right. Let's get that first roll. But first, let's answer these questions. Have you recently been pleasant with Sylvia? I have not been unpleasant with Sylvia. That's not quite the same thing. That's. I think that's a no. <laughs> well, no, because I haven't interacted with her. How can but I be rude if she doesn't see me? Ah, but that wasn't the question. It was, have you recently been pleasant with them? I mean, are... Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. Because are... I wasn't out. I think I have been respectful of Sylvia. I'll leave this one to Sylvia. Has Magdalena recently been pleasant with you? Um, 
I understand your point, Hannah, but I think I think no. But let me. I'll I'll let a dice deal. Sorry, I rolled a one, so that's a no. <laughs> yeah, I think that there was you were distinctly avoiding contact with Sylvia during the funeral and afterwards. I yeah. don't. So I you you haven't been pleasant. You haven't been unpleasant, but you haven't been pleasant. Secondly, I don't even know if she recognizes me. Oh, certainly does. <laughs> and are things going well for Sylvia? Yes, they are going very well. Yeah. All right. I, I would say, yeah, you just got your name on the deed. That's that's fair. Um, got and... her name on the deed? Got a D on her name? Like, <laughs> things are going really good for her. Fabulous. All right. And, you, and did you target someone else last session? No, no, you targeted Sylvia. So you are rolling with a plus one. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that I get advantages if I target multiple people. Ah, gotta read, gotta read the moves. Why? No, I play with vibes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm here to read the rules for for everyone. Sorry, it landed cocked, so I'm re-rolling both of them. Okay. Uh, that is a five plus okay. one is a six. Okay, on a six. Um. You don't gain any hold. Oh, wait, no. no. On a six minus, you hold one. If you spend it, the GM will tell you who catches you once it's done. So you have one hold at the moment. However, you did just pick up that move that triggers if you have no hold. So this six minus might actually end up making you more powerful. We'll see. Uh, for, for our viewers back home, uh, if you haven't played Powered by the Apocalypse before, generally, once you uh, the final result on 2d6 or two regular uh, dice for those non-nerds out there, uh, on a 6 minus, that's what we call a miss. Um, you, generally, things don't go your way. A 7, anything 7 up is a hit. 7 to 9 would be a uh, mixed success or a weak hit. Uh, you get some of what you want, but not all of it. And on a 10+, plus, you get pretty much exactly what you're looking for. That's a strong hit. You might even get something a little extra. The way that my characters have been playing, they've been playing towards those playbook questions pretty hard. We got a lot of 10 pluses last game. We'll see if that continues. Um, also, just making sure, uh, because mm -hmm. on the sheet that we have, it doesn't indicate that. Is there a scale? Like in other Powered by the Apocalypse games? Like, where there's like. Most uh, PBTA games follow this, that same scale that uh, Zach laid out. It's usually like a 7 to 9 is a soft hit, and 10 plus is a. No, I'm talking about like hold scales. Or like, um... No, that one you just gotta kind of keep track of yourself. If you want to okay. put a little, uh, if you want to make a cell below your character sheet labeled the plan, and then just yeah. update it with how much you, with the number of holds you currently have, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I can ha I can get that so, for you right now. So does technically, does having control over somebody mean that I have hold over them? No, it does not. Okay, so the holds and control are different. That's Correct. Different. Hold for the plan only comes from the plan. Hold is like a piggy bank bonus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with Powered by the Apocalypse in which holds are the bond, or holds are bonds or whatever. They're the ability to cash in based, like power up a move because I have formed a connection. Oh yeah, you're probably thinking- specifically. Yeah, so, like Monster Hearts had strings. That would be something like that. In this case, yeah. no. Hold is just for that one particular move. The, the connections that you form with people are still individually powerful, but they don't count towards the plan. No one else has anything that counts hold. So, Just because one of my favorite things about Powered by the Apocalypse, and especially mm -hmm. like Mad Fight, is that you're incentivized to still make big moves and roll because even if you fail, you gain things. Uh, yep. In this one, it's uh, less about 
the thing that you gain being a thing, and more about the thing you gain being drama. Yeah. Okay. Although, uh, like, I do appreciate masks having that you gain experience on a, uh, a miss, but since you all advance at the end of each session anyways, XP isn't really a thing in Passion Still It's Passiones, and, which kind of makes sense. If you think about a soap opera or telenovela, you don't usually see uh, that progression of I start with Magic Missile and I end by fighting God. Uh, usually the power level is about the same, but the drama ha just keeps escalating. Alex has been grinding out the relationships. I thought I'd be like max level by now. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so um, I, I I think that the fact that the plan is down to just one is actually very representative of what's going on in the game at the moment. Considering that your close ally who had gained control of the hotel has just disappeared and left you in the lurch, that feels like uh, the plan is going a little sideways. So I think that I'd like to start by letting you set a scene where Mag where we see Magdalena um looking a little frazzled and deciding what she's going to do next feel free and um with you um having like this this could be like you know you staring at yourself in the mirror or at the window at the at the sea but um is there anyone that you would go to um now that gloria is not available I think that at this moment, she doesn't have... Raul is not an ally. Raul is a tool hmm. to be used. And while he does provide some stress relief, mm -hmm. uh, this is not what she needs at this time. So I think mm. what she ends up doing is... I think that this is what spurs her the the scene last time but this time it's a flashback to her mm -hmm. frantically going through Alma's papers and mm -hmm. trying to find what Alma had indicated with her eyes during the reading uh, of the book interesting okay um that is definitely something that I like um Let's see. It seems like um, you are... Okay. I think that for this one here, I'm going to have you do a move we haven't seen yet, which is Act with Desperation. You're currently going through someone's office when you don't belong there. So mm -hmm. um, are you doing this for love? I am doing this for the love of the life that I never got to have. So that was taken away from me. So. Okay, I'm going like, to. It's not love for another. It's. You know what? It is love. It's love and honor. For who? For my mother. For your dad. For mother. my name. For All my right. legacy. So in that case, I think like, are you like whispering her name as you as you toss the the office? I think while while I'm going through it, uh, I am saying like, Claudia, like, my, I, what I'm doing is I'm singing a song that mm. like my mom would use to try to calm me down. Oh, that's adorable! I love it. And mm -hmm. are you doing this for vengeance? Oh yes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Por qué no los dos? Like. <laughs> and. Uh, is this in pursuit of the plan? Yes, this is in pursuit of the plan. All right, that seems reasonable. Go ahead and roll plus three. That is a four plus a six. So that is a 10 plus three. That is a 13. Fabulous. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the most important thing, which is you're supposed to tell me the situation you want to avoid. Oh, I want to avoid being walked in on. Okay. And I okay. want to avoid... Yeah, I want to avoid being walked in on or having this office be recorded. 
Okay. Um, let's kind of roll that together mean... into you want to avoid being detected. Yes. All right. Fabulous. Okay. Um, on a 10 plus, you manage to hold it together and avoid further complications. So, um, I think what happens is you are rifling through this office. You and um, you notice that there is a beautiful portrait of a waterfall and a uh, with a cabin near the base. This beautiful blue water spreading out over it and you push the picture to the side and you reveal that there is a hidden safe behind it. And uh, you've discovered where Alma keeps her most important documents, but the safe is locked. To get into that, you're going to have to either get Alma to open it or discover uh, what the combination is. Or, you know, you know what? You can't get into it at the moment, but you're a clever person. I'm sure that you've got ways of acquiring what you need, whether that be uh, leverage or perhaps dynamite. Yeah, I, I think that me knowing this mm -hmm. and knowing that it's locked, I I, I think um, it depends on whether or not I hear something outside. So... I think that my first instinct is, okay, check, check, check. I can find out what the code is later. Mm -hmm. I will say, I, there's an idea that is sparking right now, but she has to go back to her room to get some mm -hmm. tools. Fabulous. So I think I think she's going to put everything back as mm -hmm. nicely as possible and try to sneak back. She's not even going to... Is there a window? Is there a window? Yes, of course. The safe is right next to the window. Yeah. I think she's going to try to escape out the window. Needlessly dramatic. The perfect telenovela choice. All right. Fabulous. Um, the, you uh, scale out of the second floor, floor window and lower yourself down the downspout and make it to the hotel grounds undetected. Congratulations. I would also, if possible, like to uh, leave a charm blocking the window from locking hmm. so that if I wanted to come back up, I can go through it. All right. Sounds reasonable. Uh, it sounds like a preparation that you can certainly make. Fabulous. So mm -hmm. while this is occurring, uh, Sylvia, um, why don't we set a scene with, uh, with you and Alex? Like, um, wh wh what are the two of you up to? Is this is this a a uh, another post coital scene or is this uh, uh, something else? I think we were discussing the details of the deed, right, and the oh. ter terms and conditions. Yes, I think you were just telling me about how um, you do have primary ownership of the uh, hotel pool and bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found that very interesting. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, it, Sylvia, you've had time to go through the books with the lawyers. This place is in bad shape. Like, um, and you kind of blame Carlos for it. Because, like, not only did he give away a million dollars that the hotel really didn't have to spare, or at least or put that into a trust where you can't get at it for the moment, um, there... It, it, there's also a large sum of money that, um, including stop, uh, stock certificates in uh, that, and um, uh, precious gems that have vanished as well. Uh, there is so, like it, Carlos at the very least didn't secure this properly. 
And at the most, he may have been trying to leave with that. He was a rat bastard. You deserved so much better than that, my love. I will be ten times the man that Carlos was. I mean, look at this place. It's falling apart. We had such a dream. Do you really think that you and, well, we could turn this into a place of beauty and energy? With you here, my love, this place is already a place of beauty. Mwah. <laughs> that's what I, that, that is something I love about you though I love how determined and business minded you are oh my mm -mm. I'll have to make sure uh, hold on one second I'll have to make sure Santino knows that you're uh, still on the books I have uh, been making my rounds and making sure uh, I have proper allegiances where I need them to be. Santino? What does that fussy security guard have that I don't? Oh, you mean chief of security? He was recently promoted. He's been given oh. new powers under me. I see. I thought I was the only power under you. Well, you're the first power <laughs> under me. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, wow. Um, this feels like you're, you're like, I'm adoring this conversation, but um, I'm wondering, Alex, are you, are either of you trying to manipulate the other here? And who's got the higher social standing? <laughs> uh, Gloria definitely has the higher mm. social standing. Or actually, maybe not. No, I, I think uh, wait, you're did right. Did you call out Gloria's name with Sylvia? <gasps> oh, I did. <gasps> oh my god, and I did that in game. <gasps> oh, that's so great. Smack. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Smack and then go in for a kiss. Don't you utter her name in my presence, that bitch. <laughs> oh. I'll say I'll have the more power then if I if I take that yes, power. Yes, you yes. definitely do. Um, I would say. Um, with Ladona being a well-respected social figure and with uh, El Vivador being more of the, you know, eh, eh, yeah, everything's good, playboy. Yeah, you're definitely going to default to being the one in, with higher social status. Unless there's something very strange happening. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's freaking amazing. Um, is this... Uh, Huh. Are you demanding what you deserve, Sylvia? Uh, I am. I'm demanding that... Yes, yes, I am. Let me look at my... What do I need? So, remember, you have two questions that you can ask now, but you have to pick between them for your playbook question. It's either, are you keeping your hands clean, or are you taking advantage of someone's secret shame? Wait, no, just mm. someone's shame. It doesn't have to be a secret shame. Hmm... <laughs> I don't know if he's shamed. I guess I am keeping, I, I would be more keeping my hands clean because I don't know, I, I'm not doing nefarious things, am are, I? Are, are you keeping your hands clean by smacking him and then kissing him? Oh yeah, you're right, fine. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't think so. You're a messy bitch right now, yes, Sylvia. Yes, I am, We yes. love you for it. Oh yes, Sylvia is uh, just an absolute silver fox of a character. A hundred percent, yes. Um, um, so then when you demand what you deserve, are you offering something of value in return? I will As you demand... I will yes. offer you a way to secure that... Uh, secure that million dollars. Will you now? Do I get to hear what you have in mind? I think, I think Don't tell me you bought a ring. Uh, n that would be your job, my dear. My love. <laughs> but you said you had an mm. offer for me. Well, I. Uh, you need to be married to someone who has ownership into this family and has uh, mm -hmm. a tie to this place. And I am newly de uh, widowed. <laughs> Oh my. 
fabulous. Um, I think that, you know, offering... That you're offering him the chance to be your suitor here. And that, uh, at the very least. And you're pushing him towards getting what he wants. I, I think I think I'll give you that one. And do they love you in this moment? That's got to be an Alexander answer for us. Yes, he does. Fabulous. All right, then you get to roll with a plus two. And uh, again, what you're demanding is that he keep Gloria's name out of his mouth and that he, if I'm understanding this correctly. Well, what... no, no, that was like more of like a flavor for like when we were, mm -hmm. when he said it. Oh. The, the, the demand would be like sort of like the deal we just said like i'm you know mm. demanding to be kept in the loop with the money in the hotel and mm. a place of power i'm sort of like power moving this is what i was trying to do got you got you okay go so ahead we'll be married but i can't make you like sign a prenup or anything like my <laughs> money becomes your money right exactly and maybe okay. maybe it's 50 50 who knows but at least some of that's mm. I'm trying to secure some of that coin Got you, yeah. got you. I didn't, didn't want right. to mislead you, Jeffrey, your cat, you as playing Alexander. You're okay with that, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. Absolutely. I'm okay. going to just say thank you for this gift. <laughs> um, so that's uh, eight on the dice plus mm -hmm. um, what you said. So ten Two. total. All right, that's a strong hit. On a ten plus, remove one of his options from the list. He concedes to you and may clear a condition. He refuses and escalates, and he must mark a condition, or he runs away, and you get to take something from him. What can't he do? He cannot run away. Can't run away. So are you going to concede, or are you going to refuse and escalate? Oh, I'm going to concede. Fabulous. Fabulous. Sylvia, my love, you're the, you're the last woman for me. I mean it this time. I really do. <laughs> I believe you for now. For I now. I'd like to have a refresher on which floor their room is on. Well, I you have like a penthouse, don't you? Yeah. It's yeah, it's the presidential suite. So I okay, would so assume. Okay, it's an entirely different building section. Probably. Uh, definitely the highest or second highest floor okay. of the building. So, um, so there's no um, chance that when I left the window and I was walking around the grounds, I would have heard anything. Just making sure for my probably, own. Probably. No, I'd say no. Damn. No. Okay. Um, that being said, uh, you have two conditions right now, Alexander. Defensive and lustful. Which one yes. are you going to clear as a result of giving in to Sylvia's uh, demands? I'm going to clear defensive because mm -hmm. lustful is just too good. It really is just too good. And I think I have to do something too because oh. does, did I prove to you that I love you? That was my that was my secret heart move. Oh, a hundred percent. Yes. Okay, yes. Perfect. Oh, I I love it when you guys keep track of your mechanics. It's so good. So what does that do when you uh um? So I feel myself again. Uh, I completed my goal. I erase mm -hmm. my chosen obsession and I get to clear a condition. So I'm not lustful anymore either. Oh, it's just like Ooh. in this moment, like everything is right with the world and with Alexander. I see it a little differently. I see okay. it as in, I wanted you so bad when I couldn't have you. And oh. now that I have you, Alex is losing interest. <laughs> Yes, that's how it goes. I that's can see that. How it goes. It's like a night of infatuation, and then the next day, it's paths diverge. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Wake up, and you're still there. Alex definitely has the like slap mark still on his face, and like lipstick on the other cheek. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, I love that visual. Fantastic. All right. Um. So, uh, let's see. Of the two of them, who do you run into next, Magdalena? 
Or is oh, it the two I, of them together? I think that I will be... I think that I'm going to be... I'm still avoiding Sylvia. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be looking for Gloria. And I mm -hmm. think the first person I'm going to ask is Alex. Oh, yes. I mean, if you need to know where a beautiful person has been, asking Alex is a good choice. Because mm -hmm. the answer might... It's kind of like, you know, every time that Thor sees that something is going wrong, he goes to Loki first. Because it's yeah. either his fault or he'll know whose fault it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think... I think this is, like, later in the afternoon. And I think I've been looking for Gloria for a bit. Mm -hmm. And I think that um I think I think I'm like dressed with um a bikini and like mm -hmm. a black sundress or not sundress like wrap mm -hmm. around like very still resort where I'm not going to any meetings right now. But I'm trying to look casual. And uh where would I I'm where would I find Alex? Would you be in the? Would this you, sounds would he like be at the pool. Would he be at the hotel bar? Would he be? In... Alex is spending a little time away from Sylvia at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, he is walking around the pool right now, looking at all the uh, the guests, enjoying a okay. few drinks, and he's a little tipsy. Okay. Uh, so right next to your. Uh, lounge chair, a giant hat appears, <laughs> and then the woman under the hat appears, and um, does a little uh, a whistle of, or I can't whistle, but does a whistle. <laughs> is, says, is this like a? Oh, go ahead. And says, "So, what kind of trouble have you been up to?" Oh. No trouble at all. Me? Oh, Magdalena, it's uh, it's good to see you. You're looking well. I don't know. Last time you saw me, you ran away as quickly as possible. I was preoccupied. I had a business meeting. You know that. Yeah. Sylvia was, was able to help, to help me. You. Well, Sylvia knew. She she actually found my uh, my contact information that I had dropped on the ground. She, I bet uh, she found it. Returned it to me so nicely. <laughs> Uh, I bet she can help you find a lot of things. Uh, speaking of which, have you, seen Sil have you seen Gloria anywhere? I'm trying to find her. Gloria. Oh. By the way, while the two of you are having this conversation, uh, Raul has noticed that you're talking to someone who's not him, and the poor boy is just like stricken with with the with like oh god is Magdalena about to go with Alexander and like he kind of runs over with two with two mimosas and is like standing there trying to hear what's going on. Excellent. I don't mind him being there. Um and I do look around at him so like for a second, Alex, you see my hat. You don't see my face. You just see my hat. Mm. And <laughs> I, I, uh, I give a bright smile and uh, a wink to Raul, and then go mm -hmm. back. And while I grab the glass, I say, "Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, you're very refreshing." And or I, I'll say, "It's refre It's been refreshing to see you." And then I'll turn back and I'll say, so, have you seen Gloria? Ooh, Alex is feeling a little jealous at that because he can't see the man behind the hat. So he's kind of like peering <laughs> over the edge at the man that was refreshing. Uh, yes, um, I believe um, I, I did spend a, uh, a night of passion with her the other day, although it didn't get too far. Uh, we had a lovely evening going out. Uh, we rented some nice cars, uh, some nice suits, a nice dinner, and I had a nice night planned, but then she just left. I mean, you can only expect her to slum it with you for so long. 
<laughs> I only have so much money. Hopefully that'll change soon. Oh. Did you... Are you going to become a new senor of the, ha of the house? Mm, you're looking at Carlos's new replacement. It's going to be my honor to take care of Miss Gonzalez for the rest of my days. So you got with Gabriella, and I say this loud enough so that Raul, Raul hears. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, he, um, he, he, <laughs> a little mollified that you know you're you appear to be confronting. Uh, Alex. Oh yeah, sorry. What I'm doing. I, here's my thing. I figure I'll just do the telenovela thing and we'll figure out what move I did after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't even calling for a move necessarily. Although I would say that like, there's definitely some verbal sparring going on here. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what, yes, uh, it, what do you want to know where Gloria is anyway? Why do you care? I just... Mm. Look. She seemed really interesting, and we're about the same age. And she did just inherit this entire hotel. And she didn't I... hear me yet, so I figured it might as well be nice to see her. I don't think that's it, Magdalena. I know you. We've been together. I, we've known each other since we were kids. We've never been together. I need you to take that those words out of your mouth. Yes, we've never been together. But I've known you for a very long time, and I know that you plan, and I know that you scheme. So I think you're you lying. Knew me long ago, Alexander. Fabulous. I am trying to do the play move, accuse you of lying. I think that's uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you are accusing someone of lying to their face. Now, your question has returned to its usual is this going to be fun oh yeah this is much more interesting than the uh the sylvia bit Ugh. do I've you have do you have an audience raul is here raul is the one that perhaps matters at the moment and we have established there are multiple hotel guests lounging around as well so yes you have an audience do you have any evidence that she's lied Mm. I don't have any evidence, but it's written all over your face. <laughs> Fabulous. That's a... That's a no, though. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the flavor you made on this. So plus one? Two. Plus two. This is plus. going to be fun, and you do have an audience. So that's a nine. That's a nine. Fabulous. All right. On a seven to nine, pick one from this list. You're right, despite what the audience has already seen. You, they admit their falsehood or mark a condition, their choice. Or they're surprised, scared, or flustered. They must act with desperation before they can act against you. My choice. Your choice. Um, I, admitting your falsehood isn't necessarily confessing like what your plan is. No. Um, And if she decides that she doesn't want to admit that you that you right. got her on the rope, she can always just mark a condition and, and shove those feelings on down on the inside where they belong. Uh, I think I want to know. I think Alex wants you to admit your falsehood. You can't lie to me, Magdalena. We've known each other for too long. And so that <laughs> is your choice. I think I think I'm going to take a condition of ruminative, which means mm. I take plus one of processing feelings and minus two to expressing <laughs> love. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. So, like, and he, I'm you... going to say, you knew me. <gasps> you knew me. And you let everyone think what they wanted about me so you don't get to know me anymore damn uh, are you striking <laughs> out with voice right now 
Like, I, I imagine this is like the t- whoever was sitting. Like, Alex, have you stood up or are you still like lounging there? Uh, I, I've established he's a little intoxicated, so I think I'm. He's he's seat bound at the moment. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I count this as striking out at someone with violence, or striking out at someone with voice? I would say so. This could this is something that could hit home, depending on how the role is. Um, yeah. All right. So the questions for strike out with someone with voice or violence is: Have you caught them off guard? That's up to you. Did I catch you off guard? You do. You did. You did. Have they just wronged you? He's accusing you of lying, but he's not wrong. But he's he's trying to manipulate me. <laughs> I, I feel like I did wrong you when I left you to go with Sylvia when you were yeah. helping me. Okay. Yeah. And is this in pursuit of the plan? This one isn't. This one is just... I think this one is just my feelings. I think this is the first time we've seen Magdalena like off script where she's like, she's just not working towards her end goals. This is just her getting caught up in the moment. I love that. Roll with a plus two. Oh, actually, before you roll, you two are next to the pool and we do have a place at move. When someone attempts to strike out at you while by the pool, you may immediately mark a condition to throw them into the pool and escape their wrath. Oh my god, I want to do that so bad. So, so yeah. Uh, Magdalena, yeah, don't what, roll what the move. Is I was getting up while I was saying this. Yes. Alex, what's this look like as you, as she's giving this, like, passionate monologue on, you don't get to say you know me, you knew me, you betrayed me, and... Are you giving me a bit of a, a bit of a lecture? I think I think what it is is I'm uh, I think there's a moment in which I before I say the second part mm. I have gotten up as if I'm going to dramatically like sweep sweep away. So it's up to you to throw me in the pool, take okay, away my cool moment, or allow me to disintegrate you into <laughs> a real sunburn. Um, yeah, I'll just stretch out my leg a little bit and make you trip on it. So oh, that you fabulous. Flop right into the, right into the pool. That you're not, so even, you're not even going to, like, tackle me like a real gentleman? You're not even going to, like, in. gently, oh, gosh, rip <laughs> like a banana peel? Fabulous. Um, Magdalena, you are able to also mark a condition to drag them in with you, um, yeah. if you wish. I will say uh, that Alexander has positioned himself to make that a little difficult for you to handle that. Although you do have Raoul right next yeah, to you. Yeah, I would like... I would like... Uh... Okay, hold on. So you're sitting... I'm standing. I'm going to walk away. You, like a coward, put your ankle out for me to trip over. So the guess. You know what? You know what? I'm going to let you sit in this, and I'm going to willing. I'm not going to try to pull you in. I'm going to uh, be embarrassed, and you're going to see once again that by your foot. You decided to leave me in misery. So, um, you do have to mark a condition for this, uh, Alexander. Alex, yeah. My monitor just died, but. So you have. You can still hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, Oh, I'm back. Your choices are defensive, lustful, righteous, and scathing. Um, righteous. I'm going to be righteous in this moment. I've, uh, I've, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Sylvia right now. You know, I'm going to be a little haughty. Um, so as I give you the slip, 
I'm going to stand up and I will take one of the mimosas from uh, Raul. Um, and I'll say, you have changed, Magdalena. You can swim now. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to leave the poolside. Yeah, that gets a laugh from the people around the pool. Uh, Magdalena, like, you come up, like, hair flung back in that glorious <laughs> mess. But I'm going, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start to get up, then I'm going to lock eyes with Raul, and then I'm going to jump back into the pool and, fl and say, oh no, I feel like I'm drowning. You if get out of the pool. If there's a to save me. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, Raul, Raul is going to like Yeah, I would like to see pretend to drown, process. please. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh Raul Raul will uh like his his Yeah, actually ear tips I never got up. I never even made the move. There we to go. Get up. I, yes. I started swimming. You said that to me. I see the laughing and I just go down deeper into the pool. Ah, uh, yes, we see the black wrap that you had around you, just like, you know, going around your arms and legs. Is it actually holding you down? Not really, but you're making it look good. We the see... hat is floating in the yes. pool away from Yes, me. Raul gasps dramatically, flings the silver platter to the side, and does this perfect knife dive into the water. Um, th this, uh, in... Were this on VHS, this would be one of those parts that gets really worn out as everyone just, like, watches it and rewinds and watches it and rewinds. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're, we're in the modern era. There's DVDs and streaming, so it, it's perfect every single time. Um, uh, Raul dives to the bottom and he hoists you up over his head, uh, dirty dancing style. And he he's... He says something along the lines of, You're all so cruel laughing at this poor woman. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? And yeah, Raul is... Here's what I want. I want him to give me CPR on the side of the pool. <laughs> Fabulous. Yes. Or at least mouth to mouth on the side of the pool. Yes. So you are laid down on a an assumptuous um, beach chair and Raul laces his muscular hands together and gives uh presses your chest and then grabs your head pulls it to the side goes in for mouth to mouth and i put i come back to life while giving mouth to mouth and i look up to see if alex is seeing what's going on alex did you, did you stay for this home. alex did not stay for this Oh. No! All of this is for naught? That's fine. <laughs> I will say, Sylvia, you have a beautiful balcony on that on that uh, uh, presidential suite. Of course I oversaw all of the flopping around. She's like a whale down there making a scene. <gasps> a beach I will say that as soon as I see that Alex wasn't there, I like, calm my I calm myself and I I debate calling I'm... security. <laughs> that property is now mine, I think to myself, as I finish uh, signing the paperwork that Alex and I started to go through uh, earlier that day. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, the the uh, tall, thin lawyer, Credence, um, so, uh, witnesses your signature and says, ah, yes, ma'am, it seems all is in order here. When will we begin the expansion of La Rosa? Well, the summer is uh, swiftly upon us. We should start as soon as we can. Perhaps, uh, well, the ink on the paper is dry, so I don't see a reason why we should wait any further. I will say the... Funds of the hotel are critically low at the moment. I mind am... you, my father. Uh, m mind you, none. Uh, I have that well under control. As you say, ma'am. I look. F 
no. We, we at Credence and Clearwater have served the Sanchez family for many years and will continue to do so. We will and have... he sort of makes a little bow. Yes, yes. Good to see you. Uh, I'll have uh, the I'll have the butler see you out, uh, and I'll call for uh, Alma. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Someone come <laughs> see our people out, will you? Fabulous, fabulous. And uh, Alma, Alma says, right this way, Senor. And uh, she shows him out, um, and she sort of like gives you a glance before leaving, like. Were you just having me here to take him out, or did you need to talk to me about something? Uh, she, she's very good at at looks. Oh right. Um. Uh, see me uh, after our guests have returned. I'll have a word with you uh, uh, in a moment. I have a. I have. Uh, I need to. I need to uh, better understand a, a situation with you, my dear. As you say, miss. And uh, Alma, Alma gracefully guides um, the lawyer out to the front. So there's, you know, a little conversation as they go to the um, the elevator as um, she, it, it, like, a little verbal sparring. Clearly these two have, like, they're frenemies. Like, neither of them is going to, like, really go against the other, but they're both, like, high-ranking people around here that enjoy the chance to spar with someone else that... So, uh, yeah. There, there's a little ribbon going on. Hmm. When... Ha I'll sort of just observe... Uh, mm -hmm. th this ribbing. Um, when she returns, though, I would like to demand what I deserve from her, though. Oh, all right. What's this uh, look like? It, does she have, first, I'll say, um, Alma, uh, you have been such a wonderful uh, head uh, made here at, at La Rosa, and I would like to first hear any quips you have and give her an opening to see if any of this ribbing is really getting to her or what else is going on that may, may be under her skin. Oh, she... So... Oh, I I any complaints she has, you mean? or I'm trying to butter her up, and then oh. I'm going to demand something from her. So I'm oh, trying to she, give she, her an she, opening. She's like, oh, well... Master Credence has a very high opinion of his health, as always. I notice that he's never too high and mighty to turn down um, a properly made beverage at the bar, but... He has helped sign quite a few deals for us, so a few he drinks here has. and there are worth wasting, unfortunately. We'll have to bite our tongues with that one, dear. But is there anything else I perhaps could help you with? And, uh, she... She, uh... Like, there's a seat, like, next to her where she's been positioned where she could sit down, and she's, like, not. She's just, like, she's keeping things... She's trying to keep things professional, but you see her take in a deep breath and and uh he says i only wish to support the success of la rosa i can't help but notice that miss gloria has vanished with the deed she has this is on my mind. She has vanished with the deed. That is quite terrible. I am. I I went to brief her this morning on the running of the hotel, the the, the take of the evening from yesterday, which was quite substantial given the number of guests we had for the for the um, memorial. And when I entered her room. It was empty. The, was there the, a um, note? 
Was there any evidence? Would she potentially be returning? Her... All of her... Most of her things were still there. The bed was unslept in. And when the maid turned over the room, she found this. And there is... And uh, she pulls out in a thick Ziploc bag the knife that we had seen in the opening credits of the last episode. Oh my goodness. What a wonderful maid. I think I'm going to reach forward to grab it and say, I think I see a bonus in your future, my dear. Oh, perhaps even a promotion. Oh, and uh, she, she's um, she, she's hearing the goodwill in your voice, and she, she sort of, she forgets herself a little here. She scoffs and she says, uh, "Signora, I am already maitre d' of the hotel." How could you, how could I possibly go higher? I mean, I have an idea, but you might as well. There are a few uh, executive positions that could potentially be found open if we have the right person to fit. But uh, let's just see how our cards... Uh, Let's just see how our cards are stacked uh, this time around. But I definitely, mm -hmm. definitely see a big, big Christmas bonus coming to you. She, uh, and I will her secure eyes, secure that knife. Fabulous. Okay. Well, I think, I think uh, to get that knife, you are absolutely demanding what you deserve. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, you're offering something of value. Do they love you in this moment? They want to, but they're not quite there. And are you keeping your hand clean? Hands clean is probably the one you'd want to roll with here. Yeah. Um. I mean, it depends on how you're looking at it. Like, I am doing it in. Like, I'm trying to. No, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's ashamed of anything she's done here. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's either a plus one or a plus two, depending on if you think you're keeping your hands clean. I, I think I am trying to, like... Mm. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm doing whatever... I'm doing whatever I need to to, like, secure this hotel and secure allegiances. You see her eyes drift over to that fresh contract that you've signed for the expansion of the property. Mm-hmm. She's thinking about the possibilities of a expansion to this place and how that could enhance her personal power as well. Go ahead and roll with a plus two. Yeah. Oh, that's a good good uh, thing to do as well. Ooh, mm -hmm. I got two fours again on the die. So that would be an eight plus the two is a 10. All right. What can't she do? Concede, refuse, or run away? She cannot... Um... She cannot refuse and escalate. She can either concede or run away. Fabulous. You see her grip, like, tighten for just a moment on the knife. She's wondering if you had something to do with this. And if she's giving up evidence that could be important. And then she places it on the desk in front of you. And there's, like... Like someone in the in the uh, props department put a giant ass magnet underneath your your desk, so this thing goes. Wham! <laughs> 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 yes. So, so, what a wonderful! You have made the right choice, my dear. Of course, miss. Anything. Let me know if you see anything else suspicious. These are uh, troubling times, and, you know, Carlos and I have always been here for La Rosa, so I'm just trying to see what's best for our hotel and future endeavors, and I'll gesture towards the contract and out the, out the window towards the space that could be developed. Fabulous. 
I think that's probably where that scene ends. Um, all right. I'm thinking that we've had a few scenes with, with ev uh, everyone's had a couple scenes now. Why don't we take a quick break for bio and come on back in five minutes? Yeah, um, that sounds great. Right. So um, everyone here that's on the stream, remember we are sponsored by Magpie this time. So we are Magpie Madness is the keyword. Magpie Madness, one word uh, in the chat, and you'll be entered in this week's giveaway for Wizard Kitten. So enter that in, go grab some water, and we'll see you back in like five, 10 minutes. See you Bye -bye. soon.
Hello, and welcome back uh, to Magpie Madness, where we're playing Passions. And Hannah is with us. Hold on. Let me fix her. <laughs> Sometimes her chat bugs out, but we should get her back in a moment. But we are here. Hello. There we go. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> there there we go. See, I promise you, we're all here. Um, but welcome back. Um, remember to type in Magpie Madness to be entered in the giveaway for this week's chance. And uh, yeah, let's dive back into part two of... Uh, part two, <laughs> session two, part two of uh, La Rosa. Take it away. Ah, oh, fabulous. So after, after um, the commercial break that we've just had uh, after um you know the very sexy pool rescue scene and the um and the tense standoff between alma and sylvia over the knife and the contract and future promises made we have a little bit of a time skip we get a montage of workers uh coming through um and uh raul is conscripted to heave giant bags of cement and um and we open in front of the new expansion to la rosa just off of the pool where we saw magdalena retrieve her mother's um keepsake uh, skeleton key last episode it has been expanded into the un an underground cave system beneath la rosa the the cliffs of the seaside are now honeycombed with gorgeous rooms overlooking the waters of the harbor um, a dolphin leaps into the air trailing water behind its tail um, the music really just picks up at this point as um, the camera sweeps back to the new um ooh, uh, to the new expansion to la rosa um i have a name if you which need one. I, oh i had an idea but i would love yours because i don't love mine yet um i was going to say the new expanded pool and underground area is the sapphire lagoon and the gem uh the oh. gem coast yeah it's the sapphire lagoon and the gem coast absolutely uh, I was I I was initially thinking like the thorn bed, but I think that's a little too sinister. <laughs> All right, so um, the the lagoon and the gem coast are are just about to open for business. There's um, the great and the good and the wealthy are all here um, for the opening. Um, the many of the hotel guests are have been fighting for a res. Um, a chance to the first reservation here. You have Instagrammers ready to uh, film their stories in the new uh, cliffside rooms, and um, and you've hired um, a, a quintet of merfolk to swim in the pool and greet the, the guests assembled for the opening of your new expansion, Sylvia. What? Um, as you turn away from yet another interview with the local new, with um, someone from CNN uh, breathlessly reporting on the new hot um, vacation destination, um, what, what are you doing? Um, you see Sylvia in a long, flowing mermaid gown tailored to her voluptuous body. You can see that she has definitely gotten some hair extensions. Her lashes are on, big hoop earrings, extra big set of pearls um, to sort of mimic the mermaid flowing uh, ambiance and atmosphere. Welcome everybody to the Sapphire Lagoon. Our honeycomb hotels in the Gem Coast are astounding and I cannot wait for you all to experience this wonderful place. Please, please, we have enough space for everyone. Um, and she sort of is uh, playing this sort of matron host, sort of mm -hmm. a, 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 a well wishing and greeting the guests, and sort of like the at the beginning of this like red carpet event, welcoming the posh crowd into uh, this uh, sort of like the sapphire bar. 
uh, the VIP is. lounge. Ooh. Um, the hotel itself has yet to be opened. All of your staff, um, you have staff inside ready to sweep everyone away to their per to their private tours. But for the moment, there's a six inch ribbon um, hanging over the doors. Yes, uh, yes um, at the entrance to the, yeah, we're all standing and waiting at the entrance. Mm -hmm. I would like to know what color is this mermaid gown again? It is a stunning cerulean blue with a lovely seafoam trim. Interesting. No longer in mourning. <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> it's been a whole week. Ah! <laughs> Amazing. Co that completely accurate, too. You know, oh, it, there's definitely, you know, the jealous of those who admit their jealousy are certainly um there are some wagging tongues saying that sylvia seems to have bounced back from that horrible awful loss of her husband very quickly they say she didn't love sylvia, him anyway if sylvia if you're okay with it it's been a week are we more public with our relationship now um what would you prefer i'm i'm fine either way if it was kept secret or if it i would is... like to i would like to like give you a kiss on camera with like cnn and kind of like a oh. power okay. oh Damn. yeah sure yeah oh hold on hold on that is that hmm that feels like it's got to be something um i think you're <laughs> you're manipulating the superior here aren't you you're you you want to have them give you this kiss on camera and make it look good and convincing for everyone right i do I all do. right yeah. is this gonna be fun um it is not gonna oh. be fun wait hold on do we have the new obsession question yes. My new okay. obsession is, and we've talked about it off screen, so for the viewers, my new obsession is to uncover the truth behind Magdalena's plan that she refused to tell me about last uh, first part. So this is not related to that. Um, it's not going to be fun anyway. Uh, Alex is losing interest with uh, Sylvia, and he just wants to solidify the relationship, get to the marriage. Mm, so, yes. On camera, anyway, they're a very happy couple. Yes. So, no to that answer. No to that question. Have you caught them in a good mood, Sylvia? You're in a good mood, yeah. Sylvia. We party. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, does their well-being directly affect theirs? Does your well-being affect theirs? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You need, you need the money. Yeah. You need that money. That's a plus two. All right. A six, seven, eight. Do I have a bonus or a modifier? Uh, oh, oh yeah, good question. Let's Manipulate someone? Out. Yeah, it's a minus two. <gasps> I'm doing right this right now. So let's take it so down to a six. It does. Yeah, I'm a little, oh. I'm a little too arrogant. To uh, Alex is an authentic person. You know, say what you want about him. He goes from person to person, but every time he does, it's real. So <laughs> he can't quite bring himself to like fully commit to the kiss on camera. So maybe Sylvia goes in for like a big French kiss, you know, like a big full on lip action in front of the camera. And then Alex just kind of like on the side. I'll also say for a little bit more dr drama, at that point, you, uh, there's a flashback and uh, you see behind the cameras with um, the like people that are helping um celebrities wearing the jewels mm -hmm. and making sure that they're all accounted for like um you see magdalena helping a young starlet um telling them like okay you got to make sure that um this is worn this way and like mm -hmm. so you catch magdalena behind the cameras and then go back and see this half-hearted kiss uh, Interesting. I was actually going to say, since he failed it, could I be the one that turns it into a French kiss on camera instead? <laughs> oh, you go yeah. in for like a, a like the power couple. You stand next to me, grab me, and then I just. I think that might fit better. Yes, and uh, we still get an awkward kiss out of it. Um, 
and um, I'm going to add a little spice to this Magdalena. The person that uh, you may not have, you may or may not have recognized this immediately, but the, the little starlet that you're helping is in fact Gabriella, Sylvia's daughter. She is looking stunning in a black sheath dress and this little veil over her eyes, uh, which hides nothing. Her, she, her makeup is impeccable. Um, and, um, you know... I think that the accessory I'm, like, helping her with is a tiara, like a diadem. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, absolutely. So um, you adjust this diamond tiara on her head, and we see these just these strings of diamonds coming out of her ears. Uh, Alex, you're pretty sure that uh, she's turned at least one of your gifts into those earrings. I think I, I preferred the the uh, the necklace that I gave her, the condition that it was in in that case, but. Uh... You know, she's her own person. Um, I've I've lived with my fair share of exes, so I'm I'm I feel okay towards her. Yes, I mean it, it's been a week. Surely she's gotten over over the disappointment. Right. Uh, I mean, dating Alexander Sterling, you you have to know what you're getting yourself into, right? You can't, you can't spell Alex without X. It's part of the deal. Oh, Real cool. house husbands of La Rosa <laughs> can't spell Alex without X. <laughs> so what's uh, what's Gabby doing right now, Gabriella? Uh, Gabriella is currently like she allows Magdalena to adjust the the um, tiara, and she sort of she. Uh, stands like you know she's sort of hmm, I, I can't think of the word but like she's she's projecting confidence and um, like you know she's a bad bitch in control of the, her space even if this isn't her part um, and, I would uh, like she... to while helping her I would like to start talking telling stories of how I know Alex and mm. talking about some embarrassing childhood stories and trying to manipulate the superior to be a friend of mine. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you want them to view you as a friend. Um, yeah. All right. Can, uh, I, can I ask a question? Absolutely. Mag Magdalena, are you doing this loud enough so that like Alex could hear you? Oh no, you have so many cameras clicking in your face. You are the center of attention. You have okay. Sylvia's tongue in your ear. How could you possibly hear what I'm saying? I don't know if you, you were just, being a little but, pointed about But you it. can just see me talking to her. Mm. You're doing a little, Which is like, so um, much worse. A little giggle. We're talking and we're giggling. Oh, damn. Okay. If I roll well, right? <laughs> All right. Um, have you caught... I, I, I'd say she's in a good enough mood. I don't think your well-being directly affects hers. Uh, no. But is this in pursuit of the plan? It is in pursuit of the plan. Okay, that's a two. That is five plus two plus two. That is nine. Okay, on a nine. That's going to be... Uh, they'll give into your wiles and agree to do it, but they're going to need a little more convincing on the seven to nine. Um, the, like the, they're like, oh, well, you're very helpful, of course. Um, I do appreciate you serving as my mirror. Um, but you are going to like, right? They're looking at you like, okay, you're useful. But for them to see to, to be friendly, you're going to have to humble or abase yourself and mark a condition, or give them something they want first. I am going to let's see here I think that I might 
sorry this is exciting because if i i i kind of like the idea of piling up with conditions <laughs> i think that's very exciting um and i would like to, i'm gonna humble and debase myself and i'm gonna mark the spiteful condition oh. and i'm just going to say yeah i'm still honestly i think i'm just still not over the fact that he attacked me earlier today um and it was really embarrassing because i it really messed up my toe and i need it looks gross and also like i honestly i almost i was afraid because i i'm not that strong of a swimmer and i thought alex knew that and mm -hmm. i almost i i had to raul had to help me um swim because i it was just so embarrassing um and i ah. know i alex just walked away he's good at that always has been uh <sighs> so i don't want Consider anything yourself. from her yet but i just wanted to have like mm -hmm. would this be some sort of control would this be a this is uh right now she's inclined to view you as someone that she can talk to like um, excellent like as like you know you two have now commiserated over what over the experience of dealing with alex <laughs> and she's going and so she's she still thinks of herself as better than you because that's how she be but uh yeah. she like she, you know you're a nice lower class person that she would enjoy talking to again yeah like i i'm just so interested in i don't i only have a general pass um because i'm just here to help you but if i'd love it would it be okay if i spent the party with you <sighs> and got into well. the vip sections you're not going to be bringing Raul with you, are you? No, no. He's just, he's so Good. sweet. And I want to read her and see how she feels about Raul. Um, she's not interested in Raul at all. She's more interested in keeping you to herself. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to, no, Raul's, Raul's stress relief. If that. Uh, she uh, she kind of gives this trilling laugh and uh, says, well, there's certainly a lot to relieve these days. And um, I think that's about the point where uh, Alma come, uh, appears on the edge of the scene bearing a, um, a covered silver tray. And Sylvia, you know that the um, that there is a pair of shears inside here. It's time to cut the ribbon. Oh, um, of course, Ephraim is here um, serving like this amazing, like they're definitely giving Billy Porter right now, like just like mask in a. Uh, glorious purple dress oh i will also say that sorry i forgot to tell uh, you all but magdalene is wearing because that's very important it's always important yes Mag what are you wearing magdalena is wearing a suit um and Ooh. she is but she's wearing like um it's it's a red suit hmm. uh so she's still looking very professional but it is a bright or it is a uh, red velvet blazer with like a different um okay it's very elegant even though i'm saying a bunch of red velvet and suiting <laughs> um, <laughs> the costumers on the show are very talented they're able to yeah, pull this yeah. off um corset underneath the blazer though yeah. like black mm -hmm. corset top um and yeah i was gonna say is uh is it time to cut the ribbon it's time to light the lights that's a different <laughs> show yes it's absolutely time to cut the ribbon um like 
Can I flash back to preparations before we cut the ribbon? Oh my god, yes. Okay. What? So, like, as Alma is, like, stepping forward, like, we hear the clack, 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 clack. Things slow down and they turn a little septia tones. What are we flashing back to? We are flashing back to the week of building this uh, new addition to the hotel where Alex has been preparing a grand proposal to Sylvia um, alongside the grand opening. Um, he's perf he's like taking some of the uh, like sparkler fireworks and he's moving them over to like his proposal area uh, for his own needs. Um, before, before I say more, I should probably make a roll for this. All right. Did, um... Is this following your secret heart to figure out Magdalena's plan? Probably not. It is not. Did, you definitely have plenty of time to do it. And um, do you want to establish that you've got um, someone looking out for trouble while you did it? Um, do you have control of Candace? Yes, I, I thought of that. I don't think that she could help me in this situation, unfortunately. All right. All right. But Alex is going to try. He's going to try. Plus one on your flashback. Good luck. Six. So, um, so plus one is a seven, or did you already factor that in? I factored that in. Oh, no! Um, so I still pick one, but mm -hmm. and the GM adds a, a little spice onto that. Yeah. Um, so the one that I was going to pick was right place in the right time. I'm trying to get myself and Sylvia in frame for the camera so that when they this is this is his plan when they cut the ribbon and it's mm -hmm. on camera like fireworks go off and he's proposing mm -hmm. at the exact same time and we get Sylvia's face in the camera just oh, in love. Yes. Oh, fabulous planning. Absolutely perfect. Um nothing could go wrong. Um we see that um in the background there is like as you step away dusting your hands on the fireworks we see a lace clad hand all uh black lace that just adjusts uh one of the fireworks so that when it's lit it's going to go off about six feet from your face I love the foreshadowing. If this is who I think it is. Uh, so Alex is going to kind of butt his way to the front of the crowd as people are gathering for the uh, the mm -hmm. cutting ceremony. And he's got the ring stashed away in his pocket. I'm curious. Is, is this ring just something that you picked up? Or does this have some emotional significance to you? Um... It was intended for someone else at first, um, but intense change. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, Alex, you playboy. All right, Sylvia, um, Alma, Alma comes up to you and she uh, leans forward to uh, present the shears to you. And she says, there's been trouble in my office. Say nothing. I'll lean, I'll lean forward and say, thanks, my dear. Uh, and I will turn around and face the crowd with these uh, golden shears as I yes. uh, bring them closer to the ribbon. I will say, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, thank you for joining us in this momentous occasion. Today marks the beginning of a new chapter as we unveil the Sapphire Lagoon and Gemstone Coast. I stand before you with immense pride and gratitude for the dedicated individuals who have worked tirelessly to bring this life uh, vision to life. This uh, event is more than just uh, a moment. It is a testament to the power of collaboration, innovation, and the unwavering spirit of our community. As I cut this ribbon, let it symbolize not the opening of our doors, but the opening of possibilities, opportunities, and shared journey towards a brighter future. Thank you all for being a part of this milestone and let our next journey begin. Chink! 
Alex okay, is cool. there on the other side of the ribbon. Like you turned, you didn't realize he was waiting for you. So you cut the ribbon and like the camera sees the ribbon and as it falls, he's standing there with the ring. Oh. Fabulous. Uh, the, oh, oh no, you've, we've lost you. Oh no. Me? Oh, Me? yes. Okay. Go. Oh, sorry. I thought you were still saying something. Carry, carry on. Oh, I see what the problem was. I was looking at the stream where you were still talking. Oh, and then yeah, I thought a delay. That I, uh, the delay got me. Oh, okay, no, okay. that was a beautiful moment that I've ruined. Carry um, on. I want, you said, like, what, what, what were your last words, Sylvia, in your speech? I was going to repeat them back to you. Oh. Um, this next chapter of our lives. Let this symbolize Alex the opening of doors, uh, the opening yeah. of possibilities, and a shared journey towards a brighter future. I'm ready for our brighter future, Sylvia. Will you, will you make me the happiest man in the world? Yes. So, Sylvia, are you going to open the doors of your heart? Yes. Yes, I accept your proposal. This will be a union, a merging of empires, destinies, of passions, and powers. Yes. And I will uh, uh, take the ring and kiss you. And I will Fabulous. cue the fireworks. That I, have I would like to know how Gabriella feels about this. <laughs> uh, she is grimacing and like snatches a, a, a glass of wine and just throws half of it back. I would like to, and I'm going to under my breath go, motherfucker. Uh, I don't want to think <laughs> about that. <laughs> Fireworks are going off. The The first set is perfect. It just goes off. There's like this ring above, uh, a half ring above the happy couple. You manage to get in the blues and greens of the lagoon itself. Um, uh, and then we zoom in on the... <laughs> fat red firework that is a um that is aimed directly at this happy couple here and um wow uh i i think it just goes off and alex you are like there is a spark of uh gunpowder that goes off close to your face and as you are holding the woman was key to your million dollar inheritance it goes off and you clap your hand to your face as burning gunpowder oh. goes all over the left side of your face oh not my face not my beautiful face i'm not i'm not facing certain death am i uh, i mean i would it would be fun if it were certain it, do you feel like this is facing certain death I mean, it I feel like be. it's a stretch of the move, but for the purpose of a four What shot. the hell? I don't know if this is going to be something that we get to do again. Yes. Roll to face certain death. Roll plus your conditions marked. All right. You, yeah, like, a giant-ass firework was just fired at your head. Oh, no. Not my husband um, and my next part husband of the and my fiancé. <laughs> 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 it's only, it's only been Not a again. Month. It's been a week and a day. I can't so that's, two in one month. <laughs> two in one month. A six plus what? one. Six plus, plus one. Oh, plus fabulous. One. Okay, that's perfect. So if that was a six minus, your death would be less certain than you thought, and you tell us about your daring escape. On a seven to nine, you get to pick what happens to you from this list. And for the viewers, because you don't have this in front of you, I'm going to read off the list of what can happen. Someone you choose saves you just in time. You gain a distinctive but sexy scar. You gain a permanent disability, like a limp or an eye patch. You become a twisted evil version of yourself. You suffer amnesia. You return with a new face. You wind up in a possibly long-term coma, or you wind up actually dead. Whichever option you choose is then removed from the list and may not be chosen again. Except for being dead. That one can always be chosen. Okay. I think 
Gabriella is going to save me in the nick of time. Oh my god! And I think I'm going to be so grateful and like the fireworks and the adrenaline's pumping that I'm just, I'm gonna kiss her. <gasps> and it's gonna be a much more passionate kiss and a much more passionate display of love than what I had with Sylvia. Wow. So, like, she tackles you to the, like to the ground and she says, Look out! And, like, you you skid a, a few feet back into the, bu into the bushes just enough for a tiny bit of deniability. You reach up, say something along the lines of, like, I don't know, like, you, you saved my life? You saved my life. Gabriella, I... I don't know what to say. And I, I love you. Wow. Um. Yeah. So you go in for the big kiss, and like, like, in in the tackle, like you know, you guys have done like the classic roll. Her dress is now messed everywhere, but like in a very fetching kind of way. And you go in for the big kiss, and like you feel her lips respond to yours for half a second. And then she hauls off and slaps you. Um, oh. I deserved that. And she, 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 off of me, you, you brute, you idiot! You could this have died. A, <laughs> this this was away from the cameras, was it, or was this in front Just of cameras? Bit, like yes, you've got you've got like a like everyone saw you two go into the bushes, mm -hmm. and like. They could still sort of see some of your body, but you've got just enough cover that you might be able to do something before everyone comes rushing over. Where's my future husband? And where's my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, viewers, last episode we asked if um, Sylvia loved her daughter. The answer was no. Yeah, I, I think that... Can I say that right before the fireworks hit, right, uh, you heard me uh, to Gabrielle go, wait, that's going to go. And then, uh, so I pointed to Gabrielle uh, where the fireworks were going to be. So like, hmm. we both saw it, but Gabrielle got there first. But, um, I th that's or would that take it away? Um... I think you know that... what? We don't have to have that. That can be taken away. I think what's going to happen is when Sylvia is up there, uh, I would like to be running up behind Gabriella, oh. making sure that the diadem is fine, but also that she's okay. And then as I am mm. in Gabriella's corner after she has pushed off, I uh, think that you were Alex, up there for me. <laughs> no. I would like to stare at I would I would like to be consoling Gabriella and be like, holy shit, that was amazing. And then look coldly into Sylvia's face. <sighs> May I offer, Magdalena, that maybe you showed up like while we were kissing? So like you saw that act because you like rushed up to see if oh, we were. Oh, okay. I absolutely saw that act. Okay, perfect. Would you yeah I don't think you noticed what my face was, but... So, so but... Sylvia, you know, you were right there, too, as your future husband was tackled away from you by your daughter into the bushes, and a firework went off about, you know, just literally right next to you. I'm, I'm uh, panicking about the perception of our new opening and my, uh, you know, my... My lover has fallen into the bushes, so I'm sort of like, what's going on? And sort of not paying attention. So I definitely didn't see that kiss. And you're, you're trying wasn't aware to find someone to handle this yourself rather than yeah. or, or handle this for you rather than doing it yourself. Yeah. Because that's how you be. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Please, um, someone. <laughs> Before they go live oh. again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think, uh, yeah, uh, Santino, um, like, does, like, this Tom Cruise-esque run where he, like, there, there's now, like, 
yeah, like he's boom, 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 boom. <gasps> like leaps into the bushes. Um, Alex, you and Gabriella pull apart just as this giant hunk of a man comes in. It's, I'll save you, sir. Grabs uh, like ah. <laughs> grabs you, stands you up uh, against the wall it's dusting you off there's bits of mulch flying off of you everywhere and, the, and he says and then like he, he goes to do the same thing for Gabriella and then kind of and, and then he's like she's wearing this really nice tight dress like he, he he's like I don't know how to do this and he kind of then turns back to you and says perhaps um you could assist and then that's when Mag, uh, Magdalena, you show up, and like you see Santino, Santino just like visit, like having straight panic over here on how to touch an attractive woman, uh, and yeah. yeah. And then I grab her, and I, and I and I collect her, and I am like, "Are you okay?" Like, and then I look at him, trash. And then I look up at Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay down and there? I, we're oh, okay. Sylvia, my love. Oh, my Please, head. What happened? Stay. I was so worried. Come to me. Come, come. Did, did you did you say yes? I missed that part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as I reached down with the hand with the ring on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's 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 um like the applause comes from the crowd as you limp up like you know the shoulder of your uh, what color. What kind of suit? Are, are you wearing a suit? Or? Um, I was thinking Hawaiian shirt with like a crab tie. <laughs> like it's got a so, bunch of like crabs on it. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. So yes, your, uh, your crab tie and Hawaiian shirt are like slightly singed. You know, there's like, we've got the classic, like a little lock of your hair has popped up and is just Still going smoking. out yeah <laughs> and uh, uh, but... i would like to flash back to preparations and um mm. since um i need this to i need the mini and i need this to go through for real and knowing that he might pull a stunt like this um i would uh -huh. like to have flashback to preparations and have a prepared suit that is exactly the same fabric and style and look of mine even probably too too much you know what i mean and have that Imagine stored that away and be like here dear wear this tonight <laughs> yeah this is this is a full on like you have um El Elma produces a suit. This is literally one that they can Tony Stark style shove it on the front of you and then <laughs> zip the backs down and then lay something over the seams so that doesn't look like it was just literally zipped onto you. But uh it looks good. It does look pretty good, but it's a little more constricting than what you usually like to wear. You can feel the shackles around your metaphorical wrists beginning to close, mm. Alex. We must keep up appearances, dear. I don't like that. Yes, appearances are everything. And we uh, we must make a good impression to the beginning of our long and happy lives together. Ah. Uh. I would like to, while he's spouting this bullshit, um, <laughs> I don't, here's the thing, I'm, I'm in a, I would like to try to, uh, gain John Gabriella's feeling and say, I don't think they deserve any, uh, or I think if there was justice, they would have that coming to them. And I would like to see how Gabriella acts or reacts hmm. to that. Interesting. Um, I would like to know if she would like to be an ally. I think you're trying to step out something out of place. You're trying to figure out, like, based on this interaction between Sylvia and Alex, and how 
Gabrielle is reacting to it. Um, what's going on? So have you been intimate with Gabriella recently? I mean, yeah. What is more intimate than the act of gossiping about uh, somebody? I truly beg you. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> All right. Are you free of other distractions? It, there's a lot going on. Yeah. But... It Okay, and but this is, is the main just... focus. Yeah, and this is definitely part of the plan. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, then that's a plus two. You don't currently have any pluses or minuses from your conditions. On us, uh, on just figuring it out. Okay. Or on spotting something out of place. Mm-hmm. Five plus three plus the two, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. On a hit, you get to ask two questions, and she doesn't get to ask you anything in, in return. Uh, so you get to choose from this list. How does your character feel about blank? What are you planning? How could I get your character to blank? What do you have of value or use? Or what's your character hoping to get from blank? I want to know how does Gabriella feel about this relationship and how could I get them to go against their mother and their lover mm. I mean that's a very simple question um, to get her to go against uh, uh, Sylvia like... and Alex being together you just need to give her an opportunity um, with plausible deniability either that or an audience to make uh, to make it look really good. Um, and uh, how? Because I, I, yeah. And how do how does she feel about all this? Uh, she's she's not. I, I think what she's actually feeling is that she's almost on to you, Alex. She she think she sees this as you using Sylvia to get what you want. Uh, yeah, I think I think what I'm going to Okay. I think I'm going to uh, name them uh, or yeah. I just wanted to know that information. I don't know if I'm I need to read the thing of I, oh, the sworn to see secrecy only works with a PC that I have brought into my plans. So it doesn't work with an NPC. Ah. Oh, you were trying to make her your ally? I was trying to make her my ally. Hmm. Okay. Um... But, uh... Do I recognize... And then the one, one other thing to sp spot something out of place... Mm -hmm. Or I want to know if I recognize the ring that Alex was gave. He already asked you two questions, I'm afraid. I did. That's fine. Okay, you know what? I'm good. Let's go. Sorry. Let's go fast. Let's go hard. Bad. I'm just scheming in the background with the younger so much generation. Scheming. And uh, Sylvia still hasn't noticed me. Um, good. So we, we hear Alma, um, you know, giving like uh, attempting to recover the evening and get it back on track because, you know, she's got a vested interest in La Rosa and the Sapphire Lagoon because, you know, she's she's thinking she might end up as general manager of both of these places. Uh, and she's uh, herding a group of uh, influencers along and telling them, Ah, yes. During the building of this place, we discovered uh, that it, it, there have been legends for years of buried treasure in this area. We, uh, of course, nothing was found when we were building this area. Out. <laughs> but still, who knows what could turn up in the deep waters of the lagoon below or in the caves beneath. Uh, you'll have to tell your followers to come and see what they can find themselves. Uh, the 
we have scuba tours available first thing in the morning as well uh, for our early birds as well as uh, several um, under the moon itself for those who prefer a little romance during their dive. Um, I will walk over and say, ha, 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 that's why we came up with the name of this lovely place. I'm so glad you see how sparkling our place is and its enchanting presence. Here, coupons for the scuba tours. Like there's there's like excited like uh, excited people like fighting each other for the free coupons to uh, no I need my picture during sunrise and like just yeah um thanks so most of these people are never going to put on the scuba gear they're going to have it in the background of their shot but that's still worth something right those Instagram photos counts you were there exactly. Um, once the they sort of uh, continue on to the next part of the tour, I'll pull Alma to the side a second and grab a bottle of rum from behind the counter, uh, mm -hmm. plop a <laughs> ice cube in it and fill it up and start drinking it and be like, what's going on? Someone's been in my office, more specifically in my safe. Don't know who it is. Hmm. But I do know that there's a security camera set up in that hall. I haven't had a chance to review the tapes yet. Thought you might like to know. I keep some very important documents in there. Things that Carlos entrusted to me over the years. Interesting. All right. Keep your head on you. Thanks for the information. Make sure you see that these twerps are taken care of. We need to make sure that the, there's quite a buzz going on. Uh, hmm. what, do, what do they say? Uh, likes, get them likes, get them tweets. Get them, get the buzz going. Uh, I think they usually say like, follow, and subscribe. But you're on the right track, ma'am. All right. Have you seen Santino? If you see him, send him to find me. I believe he was cleaning some sticks out of his uniform after retrieving your dearly betrothed. But yes, I will send him your way immediately. Thanks, dear. Uh, of course. And, and, and um, and, uh, she, she, she looks at you and she says, personally, I think the only buzz that's really necessary here, you've already got in your hand. Ding, ding, ding. It's the ding, ding, ding. big ice cube. It's the yes. side of the glass. Cheers to that. And uh, ah. she she pulls out from from the uh, her suit coat a little flask, and she wakes, takes a quick hit, and uh, returns, straightening straightening her jacket, and uh, moving on to the next group of influencers in this moment would i be able to have maybe spot something out of place oh after we sort of had this conversation had our drink as we were looking around to see if i could have known any shenanigans afoot absolutely um i would say that my question is am i keeping my hands clean and in this instant yes i'm trying to make sure that this place is staying afloat um have i been intimate with this person recently like not yeah i would say yeah we're we're she's in it she's in it with me now right for hmm. alma or is it for someone else you know you two did just like she did feel comfortable enough to share a drink on the clock i'd say yes yeah uh are you free of other distractions no i just got proposed yeah to. <laughs> you have a hotel opening you just got proposed to uh you're yeah, so that's there's a, so much going on. So that's just a plus two then. That is a plus two. We need to get some. We need to get some conditions on. So I know. Yeah. I really do need a condition. Oh, sorry. Not this time. These dice are on fire tonight. That is a five and a four. So that's nine <laughs> plus two is eleven. Lovely. Okay, you get to ask two questions, and she doesn't get to ask you anything back. Um. So, right before she leaves and finishes her swig, I'll just um say um and keep in mind these are questions that you the player are asking and get answers to 
you can play this as you actually asking these sorts of questions and getting this information okay. in the conversation. It can also just be something you kind of notice and you infer this information, whatever works better for you. Um, I'm going to say, okay, so during our scheming and talking, I'm going to notice that <clears throat> Magdalena has, she's been around, she's causing a scene, she's scheming, mm-hmm. she's talking to my daughter. I know that she's had her hands in Alma's cookie jar too. So I'm going to say, how could I get her to completely flip sides and Mm. solidify her allegiance to me? And how does she really feel about Magdalena? Mm. Okay. Um, To truly cement your allegiance, you would, uh, her allegiance to you, you would need to, um, have a uh, a pretty solid claim on the whole of the hotel. Okay. You, like ideally, it would be your name on the deed. Then she um, would trust me enough to fully ally. Mm, yes, uh, and you know, and following up on on your promises would certainly not hurt. Um, the and then, how does she feel about Magdalena? Yeah, because I know that she, Mag and her have had been close mm-hmm. before. She respects her as a fellow working class type person and thinks like she's pretty certain that she's up to something, but isn't like try like, it hasn't spent time to figure out what that is because it hasn't yet interfered with the operation of the hotel. Okay. She like she definitely thinks that Magdalena is a future source of drama. <laughs> but it's a telenovela. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with that um I'll finish my uh whiskey and like s- like the camera will pan into me like s- sliding it across the bar and mm-hmm. it'll like zoom into it sliding away. <laughs> Fabulous. Alex, we haven't heard from you for a minute here. Um uh, are, you, are you talking with a pretty young thing, or are you oh, yeah. something else? I invited Candace to my proposal party. Um, <laughs> so, like, after I, I hung out with Sylvia a little bit, but she's so busy. She's got so many things to do. You know, I don't want to burden her with my presence. So, uh, I'm, oh. uh, I'm I'm hanging out with Candace at the bar. Oh, man. So, Candace is um, wearing what a fairly conservative dress for this party, but it's, uh, it's well tailored at least. She's, um, she's put a lot of, and she's got like sort of like a pretty cool, uh, shawl going on where it's like, uh, it's, sorry, shawl is such a frumpy word for what's going on. This is a little bit closer to a bow than it is a shawl. So, uh, she's, she's, uh, drinking, uh, she, she's, uh, she's got a beer and she's, uh, she's saying, well, let's see, these are some fancy digs. Girl could get used to a place like this. I would. Too, too bad you're already taken playboy. <laughs> for now, for now. I just have to be married to the old hag. I don't have to stay married to her. Well, well, well. I should be shocked, but I think that... You know, there's there's nothing in the law. You're absolutely right. That sounds legal to me. I, I mean, I, I'd not, hate then... to have to put you in the I handcuffs. I would again. like to spend a... A plan, plan thing mm-hmm. um, to be able to overhear this. Absolutely, uh, you're okay. just around the corner, listening yeah. to this conversation. Uh, yeah, like, like I'm, I'm, up. I'm hanging out with Gabriella, but uh, and she's just talking about something, and I have tuned her out to listen to this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The uh, the handcuffs will have to wait, Candice, but. Uh... Can you tell me, were you able to dig up anything on Magdalena like I had asked you to? Oh, wow. Fabulous. Um, oh, 
Oh, wow. This is wild. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so she, she says, yeah, uh, she spent a few, she spent a little time in the pokey. Uh, I was able to pull up the records pretty easily. Got out on good behavior. Uh, mm -hmm. Interesting is what comes before that. Did Do tell. Know, did you know that she and uh, Miss Gloria, the strangely absent owner of this hotel, uh, actually were roommates? And they were roommates. They were roommates. What it's... kind of roommates? Oh, well, apparently they spent some time together in college. Got a little apartment together after moving out of student housing. Any uh, any noise complaints on record? Oh. Uh, the, apparently the parties were legendary. It seems there may have been a couple screaming matches as well, but... No news, uh, uh, no, no domestic violence claims. They seem to get along well enough. Mm. They ha What I'll say, though, is uh, if what you've been telling me is true, they've been acting like they didn't know each other before they arrived here. Yeah, they certainly up to something. Playing us for fools. And I'm a bit of a fool, but I'm also a bit of a player, so. I'll drink to that. To fools and players. To the game. <laughs> and uh, then she, uh, she she finishes the bottle, puts it, uh, like, tosses it into a uh, trash can about 15 feet away. Nothing but net. And then uh, she, she winks at you and she says, I need to go see a man about a horse. I heads off would, to the bathroom. <laughs> I would like to um, step away from Gabriella mm -hmm. and I would like to pull Alex and I would like to uh, for oh, the Candace, first time oh, rough. Oh. <laughs> yeah uh, Candace is, is like um you don't know for sure, but you wouldn't be surprised if she, if she had, like, a wood-splitting channel. Wait, I thought Candace left. She did. Oh. I was I was joking, like, you pulled me, and I thought Candace Oh, yeah, okay. If you, if you pulled me... <laughs> oh, and... Candace, back so soon, back for more. Oh, you know, I couldn't stay away from you. M M M uh, Mag Magdalena, how long have you been standing there? I just got here. I couldn't help but notice that uh, you're engaged now. How many marriages will this be? Lucky number five. <laughs> wow. Well, it's customary. Or This might be the last chance I get to be able to give you a kiss. Do you mind if I do so? I am a free man after all. That is until you get married. And I would like to uh, use this to uh, have my playbook move a momentary memory loss. When I take action to make someone forget what they just learned, hitting them on the head, drugging them. Uh, so I would like to slip um, a drug in his drink. May I suggest Possibly? something? very tasty oh. here okay yeah maybe we saw you putting a little something over top of oh the yeah like on the way over yeah let's do the poison ivy special <laughs> <laughs> your lips look ravishing tonight magdalena i've always wondered what they uh what they tasted like well your last and only chance Fabulous. uh Let's, he like uh, un undoes some of the costume because it's very much in the way, uh, <laughs> and then it goes in for it's like coral. It's like coral reef stuff coming. Oh, yeah. I think out. that I actually grab your collar and pull you in for a kiss. Ooh, so, so you like I go in for it, and she goes, wham. 
Nice. Yeah. Go. Okay. This is definitely in pursuit of the plan, I'd say. Um, yeah. Um. Are my oh, are, hold on. Am I hiding feelings I'm ashamed of? Ooh. I don't know. Are you? <sighs> are you kind I of? I think I'm ashamed that I kind of would be into him, and I think I. But like, I don't know if that counts in this. I. If you feel like you are ashamed of the fact that you're kind of into Alex, I don't think anyone would blame you. Yeah. <laughs> are um, they and then, go on. Okay, Alex, are you unsuspecting that she's capable of this? I didn't. I didn't know she had a dinner. That's a plus three. Okay. That is a three. That is a four. That is a plus three, so that is a ten. Um, on right. a hit, they forget the important things they learned. <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, it wasn't a seven to nine, so they don't know that they were drugged. Fabulous. So, Alex, you like, you, you go in for this kiss, and, you know, it's deep, it's intense, it's sensuous, and... Like, you just slip your hands around her waist, and, uh, Magdalena, like, uh, I'm assuming you're you're working this to make sure that it gets as much of, of the knockout kiss as, as necessary. Yeah, yeah I, I think that, like, I let him touch the small of my back, and oh. I think I even, like, for a moment, run my fingers through his hair. And kind of like tiptoe a little bit to get a little bit taller to get more leverage and put more pressure in there. Ooh. And then um, I like lean my forehead forward, kind of take like a deep exhale. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, to your future bride. And then I walk away. <laughs> Alex, Alex, you're feeling a little weak in the knees. Speechless. The kiss was unforgettable, and I don't even remember what we were talking about before it. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, yeah, like uh, a, a bartender appears at your at your uh, elbow and offers you a top up on the drink and sort of gives like gives you like the little like almost bro side eye of like that was quite a good uh, I'm all right on the right. I'm all right on the drink I uh, kind of want this to linger a little bit <laughs> I would too I uh... think I would I think I would like to go to Sil I think I would like to walk past Sylvia and I think I want to say Sylvia, I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to see you before this, but I'm so sorry for your loss. And congratulations on your new marriage. Oh, Meg. Oh, I know. It's been so difficult to get together. I've been seeing you uh, fluttering about uh, the premise, and I know you're, you're always felt in my heart, dear. So take no, I take no offense at your uh, lack of presence during my trying times. But well, I'm I, uh... glad you're here to celebrate when things are well. I go by Magdalena now. Oh and, dear. Um... It'll be so hard for me to break that. Your mom and I used to- I know to... it is very hard for you to remember things in your old age. Um, so that would be me striking out with my tongue, right? <laughs> like... <laughs> I suppose so. I suppose so. Y'all, y'all, uh, I was enjoying the verbal jousting, but sure, let's get a strikeout here. <laughs> Where, I, I guess the question is, what's the difference between verbal jousting and, and me, like, actually hitting him? I know, I felt like this was a, a little bit of a back and forth. Okay, yeah. then, then we can continue. We Let's for, continue can and then we, we one roll at the end. No, let, we could one for one. Well, here's the fun thing. By default, that's what happens, is you both take a condition on this move. Ooh, okay. Um, It's just on a 10 plus that you can choose not to take a condition yourself. 
So, uh, yeah, so there's, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean L to ruin Let's, let's the go mood. for it, then. I didn't mean to ruin the mood. Let I'll just continue of, like... No, no, I, no, I didn't mean okay. to say stop there, uh, to continue there. <laughs> uh, like, I think that's a great place to roll it and see where the conversation goes as a result. Okay. So, are you doing this as part of the plan? Yeah. Okay. Um, why? Oh, I clicked to the wrong place. Okay. Uh, have you caught them off guard? I would I say no. Think, I think, I, or actually, you know what? I don't think talking to her is part of the plan. I think my curiosity has gotten the best of me. I think this is me Amazing. being like, I think this is like. You being catty? I think I'm just being catty. I think this, this is me being spiteful. Okay. And have they just wronged you? Um, do does it matter if I know if they wronged me or if they've just like wronged me in the entire theory? I think it's well, like because they, they did just wronged you. in this like moment. Yeah, like very recently. I mean, I don't. They think did. So. Yeah, I, I guess... You kissed my man! You wronged me! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that. Uh, you're right. No, I know. I'm just... I'm, I'm, that's Travis saying that. I know. No, 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 no. And also... All right. um, I, so I'll say no. She didn't wrong me quite yet. I think that's a flat roll, then. Yeah. Go ahead and toss okay. some dice. None of your... Um... That is a seven. Seven. All right. Fabulous. So you... You managed to hold your own in this. Excellent. Um, so, I need each of you to mark a condition, please. Um, you're, basically, you both have managed to make an impression on each other and fluster each other. To the point that there is now some emotional change. Um, and why don't we each say what the condition is that we're choosing and continue this. Um, in this moment, you see Sylvia's face steal. She's just been proposed to. Mm. She just opened a beautiful bar and hotel. You know, just hotel. She's becoming righteous in this moment. Mm. Truly, a, set, a a pillar of the community. Uh, Magdalena is becoming raging in this moment. This is a woman that has built is continuing to build on an empire she doesn't that she that is not hers to touch she she is also extremely condescending mm. and she knows what she did she knows that how rude it is actually she did wrong me she called me she said that i was only here for the good times i was here at the funeral you know what's a good time a funeral <laughs> oh my god amazing uh, so yeah so as we have this uh sort of pitter patter and back and forth i'm gonna say um, I'm glad that you're having drinks, dear. I don't mean to really get into a tizzy with you. I just want to make sure that you understand that this is my hotel and my bar and my grill. So as long as you're here to kiss the ring, we'll be fine. And I would like to demand some respect. Shit. Okay. And I'd like to um, do a demand what you deserve. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That, that's a hell of a move. Okay. Uh, um, so, are, are you keeping your hands clean, or are you taking advantage of their secret shame? Um, or... I don't know her secret shame, so no, I think, yeah, like, I'm trying to, she's like an uppity bitch trying to, like, get up in my business, so I feel like I'm keeping my hands clean, unless you see it differently. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like th this. This has been a f as telenovelas go. Like this has been a pretty clean fight so this far. This moment, you, you... I think so. Um, am I offering something in value in return? Um, mm. I would say yes. She doesn't know this, but I pay those paychecks. I'm her secret benefactor. So, mm. but I'm not. 
directly offering anything in this moment. Then I, I then it wouldn't apply. Okay, so no. And then do they love me? No. <laughs> Probably not. So let's no. double check, Mags. No. You don't love me? No. Okay, so that's a plus one to this roll. Fabulous. Ooh, Ooh. not gonna do it. Hold, that's hold on. A... Does right? One sec. Oh, okay. I I was almost certain that. Oh, oh yeah. right I get plus one, a plus from... one to demand. Yes. So, um, I got a plus one for the first for my keeping my hands clean and that one. So that would bring me to a six. Two, two, two. Six. Still not enough. Ah. Uh, but you <laughs> And I would like to respond by accusing them of lying and saying, but is it really yours? Hmm. To build upon? Okay. Then what I'm going to do is we're actually going to do, I, I'm going to. That could also be a cliffhanger. Back on you there. Um, Magdalena, act as though you had just gotten a 10 plus on demand what you deserve. I get a 10 plus? What does that mean? I don't deserve anything. I deserve everything. You just, Um, no, you just, you just said that, uh, what what was it that you just said? Kiss the Oh, are you sure? Oh, oh, what she said? Oh, sorry. I, I wanted to accuse them of lying because they said that this is theirs and everything is should be theirs right. and I should respect them and I should so kiss the ring. So what you're rain. saying is you deserve this. They don't deserve yeah. this. But it sounds like okay. to me. So you pick one thing that, so you're like, no, you don't deserve this. I deserve this. What can't they do? Can they not concede? Can they not refuse and escalate? Or can they not run away? I think that they I think because this is not I'm not here to make I don't have all my pieces in place I am going to uh, I would like them to concede to me you pick what they can't do oh okay they cannot I okay, so I'm a little confused. What does it mean that they can't run away? And what's the difference between they can't refuse and escalate? Um, does that mean so if they re- that... refuse and escalate would be them being like, um, you think this is yours? Well, uh, have some consequences. I'm about to have my security guard throw you out. Run away would be them neither accepting that you have a claim on the place nor pushing it back at you. That's just that would be Sylvia like turning in a huff and being like well whatever this conversation was boring okay would be a way it could go okay i think that she can't refuse and escalate so are you going so sylvia are you more inclined to admit that she has some kind of valid claim on this place or uh, like you know her mother was the architect or do you run away and she gets to take something from you. Um, a hundred percent running away. There's no way I'm conceding to her. Um, I'm going to, uh, when you make these claims and you see that you sort of see me and you like mention that your mother had this vision. And I think back, you see Sylvia sort of flash back to this memory and moment she had talking to your mother as we sit on a bench uh, and just overlook undeveloped land and talk about like the biggest dreams. And part of it is her idea that I'm trying to help fulfill and bring together. And it shocks me. And you're like, you know what? I have so many more important things to do and more people. I will see you around Magdalena. Please have a drink on me. And I will put the bottle in front of her and just push past her. Mm. The... Like, from your perspective, like, for a moment, it's your old friend's face where Magdalena's is. Her, like, and then it's her again. It, it, you see her mother in her eyes and that irritating tilt of her lips. 
And um, Magdalena, what do you take from her? Um, I, I don't think I could touch her, right? I didn't touch anything. I mean, I said I pushed past you, so you could have grabbed something. Oh, okay. I think... You could take something else, though, right? You said, like, you could take, like, a sense of pride or a sense of... Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a physical thing. Yeah. Equilibrium for the evening. (laughs) I... I am debating. I think I would like to take... Um, Because I have the skeleton key for all of the old Mm -hmm. rooms. I think I want to take her room key. I think I want to swipe her room key. Mm. Or or no. No, no, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry, everybody that is watching me hem and haw and stream. But sometimes it's not pretty. But that doesn't mean that you should stop playing. Um... (laughs) I think that what I end up taking is I, um, I take her solid, solid confidence that she is doing the right thing. Mm. Interesting. I, I think that I think I take away the the idea that she is doing right by Claudia's daughter. Ooh. So, yeah, uh, Sylvia, like, you're thinking about all those years of checks, the clandestine interviews with the scholarship program, the pressure that you exerted on the wardens and the judges to make sure that Magdalena got out, and it all tastes like ash right now. You see her just sulk and sort of look sad. Um, that's about the point where uh Fred. <laughs> There we go. Just at that moment, you see a muscular woman in a plain but well-fitting dress and a decent boa come up to you. And she flashes a badge. And she says, Miss Sanchez, or sorry, Miss, Miss Gonzalez, we found a body in the lagoon. It's the owner of the hotel. Miss Gloria. And that's where we're going to call it for tonight. Oh, oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. oh my god. I just realized that we have been failing by not just saying a scandalo all of the time. A scandalo! <laughs> <laughs> what a cliffhanger! This be the way of the telenovela. You gotta have a good cliffhanger. So, did, uh, uh, did Raul find the body? Who found the body? Oh, man. Uh, that is something that we can absolutely establish in the next session. I'm just Although so, I do so love... Eager. I, I freaking love the idea of Raul just like going cliff diving and then finding Gloria's body. That's pretty spicy. That might be what happened. Um, all right, everyone. Um, we're going to be back again same time next week to find out what happens in the next episode of La Rosa. We're going to be having a new player join us. We're going to, uh, that's going to add to the scheming, the scandal, the sexiness. We look forward to having you with us there. Um, I'm Zach Nelson. You can find me at Zach Nacious on Instagram and on this channel for the next two weeks. Awesome. Thank you so much for being our awesome GM today. Um, let's pass it down to Jeff. I want to say, uh, oh, do we, do we want to do Stars and Wishes or not, not for this? I forget it. Ooh. You know what? That, that's fun. Like, I was planning yeah. on doing that off camera, but 
why not? Let's show you. Let's show you all a little bit more before we sign off. Then, so a little behind the scenes. Yeah. So one thing that I find is really helpful as a GM and a player is the idea of stars and wishes. You may have also heard this called roses and thorns. The idea is that you give a star for a memorable or awesome moment that someone else at the table did. If you're a player, keep in mind this can be a player or a GM. And for a wish, this is your chance to talk about where something didn't quite go how you wanted it to go. And it can also be a chance for you to say, I wish I knew more about this. This is a really good way to signal to your GM what you're interested in and what you want to see more of. And if you let them know what questions you're wondering about, they can actually make that happen a little easier. So, um, let's see. Who, anybody want to start us off? We'll keep it to one star and one wish each, and then uh, at, when we first go around, so we don't let the first person take all the juicy stuff. And then I like to give people the chance to add more if they want to. Uh, GMs, it's a good idea to write these down because you will forget by the time that you get together again. Um, I could kick it off. Um, so my star absolutely goes to uh, Playboy Alexander. I thought it was so class um, and so great of you to say, like, I'm falling in love. We're so fantastic. And then... I got it, I'm bored, I'm out, and plan a sort of like dead marriage and proposal it was just fantastic. So I loved that energy and am, am eating it up as Sylvia and as Travis. So I love that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I can't end for my wish. Um, I mm -hmm. wish for, um, I don't know, I feel like some more juicy banter and sort of quipping. Mm. I really enjoyed how, um, Hannah, you and I were going back and forth and verbally sparring. So I think we can get uh, some more of, of that. I think that was just mm -hmm. great. I, I find that it's like always interesting trying to find the balance between like play, uh, like triggering the mechanical moves and the actual role play and making sure that you hit that balance of doing the thing to do the thing and actually rolling the move is an art uh that i am still mastering I looking think, forward to seeing more of that i personally think you're doing a great job and i'm enjoying the the balance of the mechanics as a i love that you all are starting to call the moves at this point like it's really fun like um it, sometimes I just get to sit back and I don't really say anything for like 20 minutes while you all just like go ham on each other. It's great. I think it's a testament to how great you are at running it. You're making us feel comfortable. So good job. I appreciate oh, that. So you. that's a, that's a star to you too. Um, but okay, wow. that, that's enough. I'll pass. Stop feeling. I'll pass to you, <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I think I think for I'm gonna go to uh, Sylvia today mm -hmm. uh, and how she was played by Travis. I think that. It's, I think a good, um, a hard thing to do is make somebody be very powerful and interesting because I think it's one thing to just be like, yeah, I'm a badass bitch, but it's another to be like, we'll back that up. And mm -hmm. I think that you've been making a lot of really good moves that is, um, that has been really fun for me to kind of think about because uh, it makes the cat so much bigger feeling and it makes mm -hmm. the Goliath so imposing. And I think it's very well done of just like, oh yeah, I am trying to be one step ahead of everybody. And I think that's very mm -hmm. good. Um, and taking advantage of like NPC relationships, like, mm. is very good. Um, for wishes, I, it's just a wish for me. I wish that I knew the balance better of, um, of when I am role playing and when I am rolling. Um, <laughs> and then also, yes, I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta learn a rule or two. But honestly, I think it's been okay. I just, um. It's, it's interesting me being like, well, okay, what do I want when I'm mm. uh, on guard? And that just comes with knowing your play, who you're playing. Mm -hmm. The more you play, the more you know who you're going to be. And it becomes less mm -hmm. trying to think about 
what's going on and more just being in the moment. Um, so I, so those are like the wishes for me. Mm, um, good ones. Yeah. I, I wanted to say, um, when you were like, Hey, I want to accuse her of lying. That was absolutely the, a right call to make. What mm -hmm. I was doing is I was honoring the six minus that, um, uh, that we saw from Sylvia and making mm -hmm. sure that there were consequences to that low roll. That yeah. there is called a um, turning the move back on the player, where yes. if it's I, like, uh, I know you all know this, you're all very experienced, awesome GMs who have done Powered by the Apocalypse, but for our listeners, what you can do is if someone rolls a miss and there's not something else that is specifically called out, you can basically give their target that move as if they had gotten a full success on it rather than the person who misses it because it kind of represents that character putting themselves out there trying something and then getting it blowing up in their face i think it worked out great <laughs> i've got a star but i'd like i'd love to flavor it as a rose because roses and thorns for passions mm. just work so well so I will give a rose oh. to my lovely Sylvia, and I will give a bouquet of roses to Magdalena. Um, I loved your guys' banter, uh, but Magdalena really like did a good job. I feel like we're having a hard time um, getting everyone in the same scene, mm -hmm. and Hannah is doing such a great job of including people and making scenes connect together, you know, and it's making the role playing mm -hmm. happen. So I, I really appreciate that. I know I'm struggling with that. Um, and I think it's helping with the flow. I think it's helping with the storytelling. Um, but everyone's just doing such a fantastic job. Love playing with you guys. My wish, I wish we had a bit of a sense of urgency maybe with some stuff. But mm. now that the uh, the sessions have gone on, you know, there's there's a dead body in the pool. We've got, things are heating up. So I think that'll be... I, I think my wish will come true. Mm -hmm. All right. Sense of urgency to drive the plot. Yeah. Reasonable. Is there any other uh, uh, closing uh, remarks that you have, uh, Zach? Or do you have any stars and wishes that you want to give? Yeah, I was like, hey, I, I'm a player at this table, too. <laughs> yeah, I get course. my stars and wishes, damn it. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> But I am, you know what, I am going to say Roses and Thorns because, like, I love that. I, I think that's perfect for passion. So, um, let's see. I wanted to say um, just a big old rose to, uh, I, I think my favorite was uh, Alexander just racking up the body count over here. Like, in a way that you usually see with kills in like D and D you're just like, no, if there is someone on this screen and I can kiss them, I'm a do it. And I like, it's such a fun character mm -hmm. that you've created. I love how you like have interacted with everyone. And like, you've actually made a character that I'm like, this is such a player, but like, he's also like weirdly honest about it. It's like everyone knows yeah. what they're getting into with him, right? Like, yeah, he's you like can't soft, hate cool. Hate the player, don't hate the like. You're not gonna hate Pete Davidson. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, by the way, Travis, you have great hair. Oh, thank uh, you. Is is Travis what the chat says. Hair. I think that's I a bonus to, to next session. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that plus one forward. <laughs> Uh, my wish is um, I want to be better at, me at me mechanizing my NPCs. The ones that came in the place that are so good because they have hooks and moves and wants and everything. And I just really want to take, you know, Candice and Gabriella and Carlos and give them actual mechanical teeth that you all can engage with as well as the very fun ways that you've given them um, personalities already, because like you invested one of your uh, one of your advancements on taking permanent control of Candace, I should make that mean something. Um, I feel like 
we move towards that, but I want to make it mechanically true as well. So, uh, that's my rose and thorn. Um, anyone else want to give, uh, give out any more roses or bring up any other thorns? How about some roses for the chat? Ooh. Yay! I, I was so mad because I was there. trying to figure out a way of, like, saying that some of the paparazzi was a tale of d20s but oh. or like one of the influencers for was from a tale of d20s oh my god that. that would have that i mean the sentiment is there that's such a good idea that would have, was so great but i love that rose for the chat yeah chat thank you so much for being here and being a part of this magpie madness with us and remember we are I'm sponsored also... you have one more chance uh before we log off today magpie madness one single word one time in the chat, um, at the end of the week, we'll be giving away the Kitten Wizards, which is that way down in our little um, toolbar down there. It's a really fun, cool card game. So uh, quick enter before we sign off and you'll get your chance to, to win. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah, what were you saying? Oh, we're good. We can talk <laughs> off screen. <laughs> OK. Um, thanks, everyone, for um, being here. Um, with that, I guess we can wrap up tonight's session. We will be here um, back next week, uh, Monday, 7 p.m., I guess. When did we say? 6, 6 p.m. 6 uh, still 6. Yeah, still 6 p.m., sorry. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, 7, 7 some other time. Uh, we will see you um, uh, here. And again, thank you so much uh, for being here and hope you'll have a great rest of your evening. Goodbye, everyone. Follow the sins that make you feel most alive. To, um, to good times.